Greetings all. Fanny here for Pisces Daily Oracle Message. Ooh, come back here. Why is everyone falling away? Pisces, the first card that came out for you is the Trout and Lily of the Valley, Purification. I love that Pisces itself got a fish because I really feel like that this is you purifying yourself. And with the Lily of the Valley, how it droops and hangs in such a beautiful way. It's very peaceful and unbothered by the world around it. You also have the Fox and Ivy of Adaptability. And purifying yourself from negative emotions, toxins, addictions, substances will allow you to be more adaptable to shift and change to bring about whatever it is you are working on in your life right now, Pisces. You have the weasel and the pine of introspection. Weasel bay. Yeah, well, introspection and purification kind of go hand in hand. Because, like, you have to do the introspection and look at where things are coming from. Where your blockages, negative emotions, things like that. Where they come from. And the purification, maybe of deceit here with the coyote and the datura. The purification of whatever it is that is blocking you, whatever it is that is holding you back, keeping you in a sense that you need something or someone outside of yourself to be happy, to be successful. Or maybe this that this is a self-limiting belief or something that has been laid upon you by other people that says, like, you don't deserve happiness or you have too much going on or you have too many things that you're responsible for to take that time for yourself. And then that nagging voice that makes you feel selfish for laying down the boundaries. Don't listen to that, my love. You are worthy of everything that you want, whether that be love, financial independence, freedom, peace in itself. It might... Peace is something that is so hard to get sometimes. You are protected more than you know, Pisces, with the skunk and magnolia. You are protected from higher realms, from spirit teams, from if your parents have passed on, your grandparents, siblings, children, animals that you have lost. And those are only some of the energies that are on our spirit teams. You have the antelope and wheat of nourishment. Nourish your dreams. Because you, you have an ending that has come, Pisces. And an ending is just a new beginning. It is always darkest just before the dawn. So don't be afraid of the tower falling. Don't be afraid of your death moment. Because it's just allowing you to be reborn. Yeah, like I said earlier, you, you need to instill boundaries with the porcupine here. Like, a porcupine is, you is it's always fuck around and find out season with that guy. Because if you fuck around and push them too far, you're going to find out how much it hurts. You're going to find out what they can do if you push them too far. And Pisces is a very similar energy. Because they are so caring. Because they are so compassionate. People so often take advantage of them. But you also have the horse and bluebell with modest fortitude here. You are more than aware of your gifts, of your talents, skills, and abilities. And you're taking that in strength and strides. Not letting it overtake your ego and be something like, I am all-powerful, all-knowing, all-divine. No. You are being very modest. But you're also taking the strength and it's like, no, I am stronger than you know. I am stronger than I know. Like, the horse itself is a, is a very wise, powerful creature. Quite on the opposite spectrum of a horse, you have a mouse with the uh, innocence. And I believe that is buttercups. So an ending begins a new beginning where you will you would be innocent once again because that is like the beginning of your fool's journey. I am not calling you a fool because I don't believe that you are, but fool in tarot. The, the, it is the zero card of the major arcana, the beginning of it all. And he's walking off a cliff very blissfully because he's just smelling the flowers and enjoying his life. And the major arcana is his story of development, introspection, and coming into the realization of his power. From meeting the magician, the one that has the power to create everything, to the hangman, switching his perspective, to the world, realizing that everything comes full circle and you will always begin again. You will always begin anew. So don't be afraid of endings. Don't be afraid of new beginnings. Luck is on your side with the duck and the chrysanthemum here. And as I said, you are stronger than you know with the elk and ash. I mean, elks are incredibly strong creatures. 
they, their kit can break a mountain lion's ribs. Like, that is not something to fuck with. You are not someone to fuck with, but people have fucked with you. People have tried to use and abuse you, tried to deceive you into believing that you need them, into believing that you are not powerful, into believing that you do not have the strength or the focus or the concentration, whatever it is, block it all out, my love. Only nourish that which serves your greatest and highest good because you're moving on from anything and anyone that is not in alignment with that. And... This might remove people from your life that has been there for a very long time. Certainly coming back to the purification that started off all of this. You're purifying that which is no longer in alignment with you. Having the strength and understanding that if people are meant to be in your life, they will be in their, your life. And you won't have to fight them to stay there. Everything will be fine, my love. Just promise me that you're going to take care of yourself. Because throughout all of this, you're going to need to make sure that you're still strong, you're still sleeping, you're still eating right. Take care of yourself, Pisces, because you're a wonderful soul that is very much needed in this realm. Have a beautiful day, my love.